Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and today I got awesome news for all of the Horizon Zim Boeing 787 fans. They have just released the latest update of the airplane which includes support for the Hoppy, ACAS and CPDLC system. Out just in time for the cross the pond, so all we gotta hope for now is that the servers aren't going to be overloaded and then go down on the event itself. But. Let's go ahead and have a look at some of the new features available to the airplane now. So, the new system can be accessed through the COM page that you can find right on the MFD. And you can see that we've already loaded straight into a system over here. So, over here we've got the CPDLC system where you can do things like uh, requesting altitudes or um, requesting route deviations. Very useful for oceanic flights. And then... You also got stuff like free text messages to air traffic control and so on. Now, next up on the flight information page, this is where you can basically do your ACAS requests to air traffic control, including things like requesting the departure clearance, or like requesting an ADIS, or like requesting an oceanic clearance. So very useful stuff that we got available in here. Now, on the company tab, you can do standard ADIS requests. For example, down here, if we just enter, let's say, Echo Delta Delta Lima and Echo Delta Delta Mike, then we can request weather for those airports. For example, like this. Now, I want the Matar and the TAF, and now we send this one out. And, well, now let's just leave the page for a short moment here so that we can see one of the really nice features that comes available through the screens of the Boeing 787. So here you got the uh, ding dong indicating that a message is received and the message itself is showing up right over here on the side of our primary flight display. That's a really, really cool thing. Now on the bottom of the message you will see some tabs like for example cancel or in case you get an ATC clearance you'll also see an accept tab and those can be managed through the three buttons that you got available on your glare shield over here. So since this is just an information message, we can cancel it and then it is going to be removed again. Now let's try and get ourselves a data link clearance for our flight. So for that we go on to the flight information tab. First of all we can try the ATIS request, however I did find that this occasionally seems to be uh, rather laggy. So and a little bit buggy still. So if we go on to Dusseldorf and Departure ATIS, let's send that out, and then we'll just see if an ATIS is going to come back or not. In my experience so far, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't yet. Yeah, here we go. Um, this ATIS is not available. Okay, so unfortunately, gotta clear that out again. Okay, but nonetheless, even without the ATIS, let's go ahead and request ourselves a pre-departure clearance. So you can see certain values are already automatically accepted from our flight plan in the FMS, like the call sign, the departure and the destination. So now we just got to enter the ATC facility. And this is the same code that the controller uses for his CPDLC lock-on. So it must not necessarily be the airport code. Since we only have an, a center controller online today, we are going to use his CPDLC code over here, Echo Delta Golf Papa. Then for the gate, we're standing at Alpha Niner, and for the ADIS, we couldn't request it, so I'm just going to enter Alpha. And obviously, the standard obligatory good morning, like that. Okay, send the request out. Now it's being sent. And when air traffic control is going to receive it, we are going to get the clearance. So let me close that window again, because there can be a little bit of a time delay, and normally you are not going to have that window open the entire time, but normal operating procedure would just be to return to the default display for the section in question, so NAV display, as you can see, for that one over here, CDU for that one over here, etc. So, as you can see, there are um, several different standard screens. The COM screen is none of them, but it is in fact only used temporarily for when you are actually going to make a selection on it. So it's not constantly left open. But nonetheless, the request is now out and we are going to hopefully get our clearance in a matter of a few seconds or a minutes. Now this obviously comes down to how long the VATSIM controller is going to take, but here it is. Okay, ATC uplink. So, clearance from Düsseldorf, PDC 1, Lufthansa Mon Mike Victor, clear to Munich, off 2-3 left via Doden 9 Tango, departure climb 5,000 feet, squawk 1,000, ADIS not available. He, he responded to our Gude 
by answering it himself and startup is approved. And now you can see over here, we've got both an accept and a reject button. So we want to accept the clearance. So we're going to press the accept button over here. Now you can see it says accepting. We could still cancel it, but now it is accepted. Now the message is sent to air traffic control. And if we now go back to the com button, then you can first of all view the entire clearance over here as well. But we will talk a bit more about that in a few moments. But what is important here is that not all messages are currently shown over here. So when you go into the new message tab now, well, first of all, let's uh, cancel that one. If you go into new messages, you will see that there might just be a couple of um, other messages showing that we didn't have previously. So right now, if you go into here, for example, you can see that there was a request received being processed standby that was set from our traffic control earlier. And there is a chance that we might get a confirmation of that in a few moments as well. So overall, you can see that is where you get new messages. And if you want to review old ones, you go onto the review over here. Now, this is a previous request I did. So let's cancel that away and exit out of that tab. So now if we go over here, we can see that, for example, if we want to review our if we want to review our request, then we go onto the uplink page over here. For example, here's the ADIS request, or we go on to the downlinks that we got over here. And over here, for example, is the um, clearance request that we sent out. And like that, you can basically click yourself through this and you can find all sorts of um, information that you have previously sent. Over here on the, okay, there just comes a new message that is clearance confirmed okay thank you very much we don't need to confirm that one so i'm just going to cancel it but as you can see there is a new atc message now which is the one that we just had but if we wanted to review our atc clearance we could for example just go over here and that is the um, clearance that we had up here it tells us that we accepted it and that's basically how the system works all right so very useful to have this available and I do really hope that the servers are going to be right up for the cross the pond that we'll be able to use the uh, system on the event as it is really useful when you can do most of your ATC communication through the um, CPDLC system rather than doing it through the voice system. But always remember that even if you are on um, CPDLC, you always need to monitor the voice frequency as well, with the exception of being oceanic when you are under cell call listening watch, then obviously you don't need to listen to the voice frequency anymore. All right, so that's a little overview here of how the system works. I do hope that you appreciate this one as much as I do. And if you do, then I do kindly suggest you just head over to the Horizon Dome website. You give them a small donation for bringing out this absolutely lovely Boeing uh, 787 update. And with that, all I can say is thank you so much for watching, everyone. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, not just over here on YouTube, but also show your appreciation in the Horizon Dome Discord to tell the guys what a great job they're doing. And with all of that, all I can say is if you're up for more, don't forget forget to subscribe to the channel and if you really love what I'm doing over here why not consider a small donation to the Horizons and team in order to support their work thank you for watching and see you all again on the next one